everybody welcome back to the channel or to the channel if you are new today i am going to be transforming myself into the fourth of july if it were a person so i've done two other videos like this one of them was for easter and the other was for valentine's day so you, if you haven't seen those i'll link them in the description box below and then you can go watch them because they're fun. If you haven't seen me do these before, basically I am making a persona based on the holiday and <laughs> most of the inspiration comes from what kind of materialistically we have transformed this holiday into mostly. So yeah, just a heads up on that. But otherwise I really don't think I have much to say and I just want to get into this 4th of July transformation ASAP. So let's go and turn into the 4th of July if it were a person. First things first, of course, we gotta name this persona, okay? And I actually had to look up Fourth of July inspired names because I was having such a hard time being creative and trying to think of a Fourth of July name. So I have searched the Google gods and have came up with Liberty, all right? This persona's name is going to be Liberty. And I actually meant to do my eyebrows already i totally forgot that <laughs> so i'm gonna do them off camera and then come right back ta-da <laughs> okay we got some kind of bold eyebrows right now they actually turned out darker than i thought but that's okay because as i'm going to reiterate throughout this liberty is a very bold and confident person okay next thing i'm going to be doing are the eyes just so you guys know no I don't practice these beforehand so whatever happens just kind of happens now I'm going to bring you guys a little closer so you can see just a little better all right first things first just a little base on the eye so we can just we can get started with Liberty's look today of course Liberty's favorite colors are red white and blue. She is a little bit obsessed with those colors because America. She just she just loves America a lot. So blue, blue is what's going to go on the eyes. Part of that's because I don't have red eyeshadow. Also my blue eyeshadows are really really old. So let's hope they do the job and my eyes don't fall off. I'm going to be adding a little bit of some blue on my lids. We got some like bright blue here. We'll see how it shows up though. Okay, okay, not too bad, not too bad. Why am I using this brush? I don't really like it for this. Another brush, um, did I just use this one? I don't know. All my brushes are gonna be blue. Wow, there's so much fallout in this, but that's okay because that's why we have a makeup wipe and that's why I haven't done my foundation yet because I knew this was gonna happen Liberty's favorite color of blue is probably a darker blue but blues in general, blues in general. she's just obsessed with and did you just see me poke myself <laughs> Woo! okay what is happening today blue check more blue that's what we're doing not check you can tell this eyeshadow is old it's just like not really doing great but that's all right the next step i'm going to be adding some more blue to the eye look of course i'm gonna try to darken it up a little bit and see what happens i feel like nothing's happening <laughs> what is the eyeshadow i have there we go we're getting somewhere oh okay it's getting a little darker a little that it didn't really do much. <laughs> so I'm gonna keep adding, keep trying, keep trying. It's really loving this crease area. It's liking to get in there, but it's not really doing well on layering in the other eyeshadow. My blue eyeshadows are just so sucky. <laughs> they really are. Oh my gosh, okay. Let's see, finger, try and use your finger. All right, 
that's a little better we're getting somewhere maybe i am working with what i got for having some really crappy blue eyeshadows i think it's going okay i really want to take this brush and do like something else but i'm afraid i'm just gonna wipe it off because that's what's been happening i'm gonna take another like a grayish blue color see what happens just patting it in here. All right, we're, we're gonna deal with the blue later because gotta deal with something else. So I'm gonna be taking some concealer on my eyelid to prep for a really fun, fun eyeshadow that Liberty will love for one very specific reason. And I will tell you that when we get there. All right, for this next part, I'm going to be putting on some very glittery white eyeshadow right over where I just did that concealer. And of course, Liberty is gonna love this because it's white and it's glittery. And you know what glows? Fireworks. She loves some fireworks. So taking some of this and putting it right over top. Now we gotta kind of blend that in because that is looking a little wild. So I guess I'm gonna go back with my finger because I forgot that using a brush kind of sucked with these eyeshadows. We gotta make sure it's in the inner corner. We want as much of that white glow as possible. Just gonna take a little bit of like a neutral color to kind of blend it in a little bit up here. I may end up just adding some glitter on it because glitter, liber Liberty loves some glow. I'm just going to get a little bit of that white eyeshadow with some highlighter and add it up here because we can't have enough glitter. Next part, we gotta get that nice little edge because we want some eyeliner up in here. Like I've been saying, Liberty is just very proud. She's very confident and bold. So of course, we have to do the eyeliner because eyeliner is a little more of a bold choice and we gotta do the wing. So I will be right back with my eyeliner done because I just can't talk and do my eyeliner at the same time. It's, if you can do that, that's a talent. That is a talent. Eyeliner is done just bold enough for Liberty. So now I'm going to leave you guys again so I can do my face because it needs it. Got some hormonal stuff going on. Not fun. Okay, skin is looking a little better now. Next is time to add a little color to the face. So of course, Liberty loves July. <laughs> Who would have guessed? July is one of those warmer months, and so it always gives you a little natural blush. But see, Liberty loves that little blush on your cheeks all year long. So we gotta add some blush to this look because it would not be complete without it. I have this really nice, almost reddish color. It's definitely pink, but it's a darker pink. So the darker the pink, the closer it is to a red and she loves that. Did that actually make sense? I don't know. We're gonna pretend it did. All right, we definitely want that really nice blushy look. I wanna add a good amount. And of course, the nose needs a little boop, boop to it, you know? Maybe add some color up here. I think I'm looking a little, a little more Liberty-like. I totally forgot mascara. How could I forget mascara? Okay, so let's go back to the eyes. Liberty is bold and normally I would be like false eyelashes. Let's get it, but I don't want to put those on. So we're just going to make my mascara as bold as possible because that's Liberty. She bold. I like to put some on and then curl my lashes because I feel like it just grips onto the lashes more and actually makes them stay compared to when there's nothing on them. Now let's get these eyelashes as big as possible. 
Now before I add mascara to the bottom lashes, I need to first add some blue underneath the, the, the eyelash part. Under my eye, I just, I'm adding blue under my eye, okay? Because the more blue, the better. I'm just gonna take a dark blue here, pat it in. I like it, we're adding some dimension to this look. Okay, now bottom lash time. I think the eyes are finally actually done. <laughs> And I'm not gonna have to go back and change anything else, I don't think. So, this is what we got going on. What else? Highlight. That's what else. I don't know why I said it like that. That was a little weird. What am I using for highlight? Hmm. Ooh, I could just use that eyeshadow that I used on my eye. So, I talked about fireworks earlier, and to Liberty, highlighter is like fireworks. Instead of glowing in the sky, it's glowing on your face. You know, it just makes you pop. I think I'm gonna dip this in that eyeshadow I used earlier and see what happens, see if it sticks on my face. Is it doing it? Oh, it's doing it. Oh, you see it, mm-hmm. It's doing it. Ooh, ooh, ooh. It's so bold, I love it. Okay, a little boop on the nose, down the bridge a little bit, lip, and a little bit on the chin, even though I have a freaking zit thing. We don't want to draw too much attention there. The last makeup part is lips. And we know there's a color missing in this makeup palette. We are missing red. So of course, I'm gonna do a red lip. Red lips are bold, they're out there. You gotta have some confidence to rock a red lip. So, that's the perfect thing for Liberty. I'm gonna go grab some lip scrub and I'll be right back. Okay, lip scrub is here. If you've never had the lip scrub from Lush, I would definitely recommend it. Oh, it smells so good. They have a few different kinds. This one is the mint juleps one. And after you put it on your lips, you can just eat it right off. <laughs> See, we gotta prep the lips so our lips are very nice for our bold red lip. This mint one makes your lips feel like they're like <laughs> Yeah, that's a good way to describe it. Just that pop sound. Chapstick, of course. To get this bold lip very bold and as perfect as can be. We got some lip liner, so I'm going to put that on. Okay, I, I couldn't stop filling my lips in because this liner is just like the perfect red color. But I do have some lipsticks. So I'm going to go over my lip liner with some red lipstick. This is the Dollar Tree lipstick I got and it is freaking spectacular. Like, holy shit. Combined with the lip liner, you know, it's spectacular. I don't know by itself, but <laughs> this is amazing. So I guess the makeup is complete. But now I need to do my hair. So I'm gonna go get the few accessories and then I'm gonna tell you what I'm gonna do. I am back with my accessories and that includes some wed, wed? Wow, what just happened? <laughs> I think I just glitched. Okay. I am back with some red, white, and blue barrettes. July, like I said, is a pretty hot month, so the hair back is a good option, is what Liberty would probably like. So what I did, I did a little, a little side part, and I'm just going to be pulling this hair back. Ta-da, looking sleek. Next is the red, white, and blue barrettes. Hey, look at that. That's cute. Then the other side, I think I'm gonna do red, white, and blue too. Oh my gosh. <laughs> They're sticking. Wait, it's magnetic? <gasps> Why didn't I realize that? Okay, sorry. Sidetracked. All right, we got some breads on this side. Got some breads on this side. And now, it is officially time to change into Liberty's outfit. Let me show you what we got going on, okay? Why do I always say that? I'm always like, okay, you guys, yeah. The shirt that I'm going to be changing into is this crop 
red top and it's got some stars on it because that's one of the things besides stripes that she just loves and of course to tie in the blue blue shorts all right time to change and i'll be right back hello <laughs> I am now fully transformed into Liberty. Got my red star top, my makeup all popping and done. Got the barrettes, got the hair back, and of course, the blue jeans to add with the shirt. Alrighty guys, that is all of my video today. I really hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you do like these kind of videos, let me know. I'll probably keep doing them just because it's something creative for me to try and make a holiday into a person and give reasons why I'm doing what I'm doing in a cringy, sometimes cheesy way, <laughs> most of the time. If there's any holiday specifically that you wanna see, let me know. If you aren't already subscribed to the channel already, be sure to do that. Give this video a thumbs up so I know that you enjoyed it. Follow me on my social media accounts. They will be at the beginning of this video in the description box below or everything is at It's Kendra Sue. I hope you guys have an amazing day or night, whatever it is where you are right now. I hope that you have a great 4th of July if you do celebrate it. Otherwise, just have a good 4th of July, not the holiday, the day. Anyways, I will see you all in the next video.